for this uh, RFP, we have uh, divided the project into three parts, um, looking at three different parcels. So you have parcel A, parcel B, parcel C. We will leave it up to the uh, proposer uh, to suggest what they want in each parcel. But to make it uh, easier to manage, that's part of the reason for dividing this into three different pieces. Uh, Chief Minister also mentioned the potential to develop a further 38 uh, acres. So that will come from reclamation. So at this point in time, we are at the stage of uh, securing the necessary approvals to do the reclamation. So uh, in this RFP, it will be limited to the existing parcel A, B and C, but we will give, for example, first right of refusal for the future development to the successful tenderer. Uh, you will see on the next slide the different sizes of the parcels. They are roughly about equal in size, ranging from 18, 21, <coughs> 21, yeah, uh, 21 acres on each, uh, totaling 60.25 acres uh, exactly. And the future development is 38 acres. Let's skip the next slide because it discusses the location. And these are some of the photographs you'll see on your presentation. And this is the entrance to Bayan Mutiara. The next slide shows that in Bayan Mutiara, PDC has actually put in some infrastructure. So you see the roads, you see um, infrastructure dividing the uh, parcels, for example. So you can take a drive there. And in the next slide, you will see some of the existing development. So if you are familiar with the area, this is where we have our de-residence uh, housing uh, development project. Yeah? That's where the area is. And it's where the um, jetty to Pulau Jerjak also is. So I'm sure you're familiar with that. Okay, these are all the slide photos. So the desired development, I'll spend a little bit of time uh, on this one. This is what we are looking for. Uh, in terms of the proposal from the uh, potential developers. Yeah? So the submission should cover from concept to delivery. So we want them how they're going to start until the time they're going to deliver the project, what it looks like. And these are the components that we're looking for. The first one is a grade A prestigious office. Uh, this should be in a class where you can uh, have multinationals having their regional. They want to okay. sit in and, and see. This is, <laughs> okay. a very, this is a very big project for Penang. Okay. You want to invest? Okay, that's very good. <laughs> okay, I'll talk again about the components that we're looking for. Yeah? The first component is a grade A prestigious office. So this could be a block, but it has to be a grade A um, office building. And I'll give you a, in a little while the definition of what we mean by a grade A um, office. So normally there is a general classification for buildings, and grade A is the most sought. Um, this would be in terms of its location, standard of maintenance, uh, quality furnishings, state of the art facilities, that's what we're looking for. Something different, yeah? The second component is a specialist medical facility or a hospital. Yeah? And then the other components include commercial blocks, residential enclaves, so they're free to propose either landed uh, development or high-rise development, um, retail spaces, and of course there must be public spaces uh, with contemporary, iconic, global standards. These are critical. And that's part of the reason for opening it up uh, to an RFP, to get ideas from uh, internationally renowned developers. In addition, the development must generate social, economic and other related benefits to the state government. It must complement surrounding areas and activities. It must allow uh, public access to the waterfront must have a high degree of sustainability and must demonstrate green development content. So these are all the criteria we'll be using to assess and evaluate uh, the proposals that come in. Okay, so there are two parts to the assessment criteria. One is the proposal itself and two is the price consideration. So in addition to coming up with the, with the proposal, the uh, proposers must put in a price tender for that Bayan Baru land, uh, sorry, Bayan Mutiara land, 
All right, so our evaluation will be based on these two criteria. The RFP document will be re uh, available upon request from 16th August onwards. Uh, and the reason that we are pushing it out to 15th August is because we will be doing a roadshow in the region uh, to uh, promote this um, RFP. Uh, and they can collect it from uh, PDC, the address is given there. And the closing date for submission uh, is 16th November 2010. Alright, that's pretty much uh, what I want to say. But I do want to summarize just the three key points uh, that I hope that you will carry. And the first is that um, Penang invites qualified local and regional players okay, in this RFP to develop 60 acres in Bayan Mutiara and with the potential to develop an additional 38 acres. Okay, that's one. The second one is the submission must cover from concept to delivery the proposal to create an exciting integrated development that would comprise the Great A prestigious office, the medical facility, commercial blocks, residential enclaves, retail and public spaces. That's the second message. And the third one, that the RFP will be published from August 15, uh, 16th onwards. Will be, uh, sorry, will be available from August 16th onwards. And uh, that's all I have. It's going to be a reserve price per square feet. We are not later. But if you, you, you can imagine when the, the company must have a paid up capital a minimum of 50 million. You must know that this is not a small project. And it's not hundreds of millions, it will be easily be billions. Billions of projects. How many billions? We will wait for the RFPs. Any other project will be billion, billion. So, berapa billion kita tunggu cadangan yang akan diusulkan oleh para peniaga.